Thanks for staying with us. We're still talking to our, our guest here. So tell us, Lajja, about this year's movies. How many? You have six titles, right? Yes. And then, which, which ones are new and which ones are, which ones are old? Thank you, so, thank you so much. Uh, so my newest film is Down for Under Rose. Uh, it's down for down for and the rose. You said it was as it was, it was an English. Okay, name. it's down, down for, for okay. and the rose. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, so that's my newest film. It's okay. starring uh, Sam Day, Day, Michael Dapa, Dunia Day, Sunshine Rosman, oh. Shane Wajai, Mr. Macaroni. Um, and it's really a story about how dreams can come true, oh. regardless of what part of the world you come from. Oh. Uh, um, so we're releasing that for the first time ever. Uh, this Christmas ah, on nice. uh, a virtual cinema platform. And oh. the beautiful thing is that you can watch it from anywhere in the world. But we're not just releasing that, we're releasing two other movies. So, um, Mistakenly Yours was out for a limited release in Easter. Uh, last Easter is back now. Uh, Loving Amanda is on Prime, but it's also back now for people who maybe not, may not have a Prime subscription. So, we're releasing those three movies for the price of one. And viewers can see it from anywhere in the world uh, this That's Christmas fantastic. from. Um, December 24th. We'll tell you, okay, we'll, yes. we'll, send you, we'll send you a bill for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so let me just talk about that. It's 1.5 million there. Uh, only, only, so only. 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 Let's focus on this. This must be seen for us. Come. Yes, fast, yes, fast. Yes, I've said yes, it fast, yes. fast. Yes. So, right. yeah. I wanted to ask about how you deal with piracy because, you know, I'm, as yeah. you are sitting here, I'm just hearing your virtual cinema for the yes, first time. Yes, yes. Some of us don't know these techniques. <laughs> so, I'm wondering, with these virtual cinemas, how do you? protect yourself from this kind of... That's such a beautiful yeah. question, and I'm glad you asked. So, um, one of the reasons why we do a virtual cinema is because it's a limited release. So, sometimes before the pirates have time to think about how do we hack this thing, mm. the release is already over. Because what we do... So, for example, even though we are releasing um, from Christmas Eve, we're selling tickets now. So, it's the people who will be on board on our platform. We have everybody's email addresses and they have their special login details. But we also work with a system where we have digital rights management. So, if you are watching on our platform, your, your email address is literally dancing across the screen. So, mm -hmm. if you screen record, we know who, who you it? are, mm -hmm. right? But we, um, there's also tech that kind of avoids people from even screen recording or... Um, I, I truly believe that there are ways around pirates if you get the tech right and if you're intentional enough about figuring out how to do with, deal with tell it. Tell us your, your relationship with your husband and um, how, is he also involved in production? So my husband actually runs his own film company. Ah, yes, it's called Narrative Entertainment. They had a film in the cinemas this ah. year, What About Us? Oh, nice. It's over 100. Well, so if you just be in the house and you're just, one, one is doing one movie, one doing Yes, so the thing is we, we are one in the marriage and we oh. enjoy that. But I think the beautiful thing about being being in a marriage where you enjoy, we just uh, clocked 10 years this year. So oh, it's congratulations. That we, we have the opportunity, thank you so much, ma'am. We have the opportunity to really just explore different parts of ourselves and support the other person right. when they are doing right. something. Right. But when it comes to marriage, when it comes to ministry, when it comes to the children, we always kind of work together. But like he's a musician as well. So oh, he wow. does, he's he also does things. like a large, a large number of things. Can we so talk about awesome. ministry, please? Yes. Like, how did you get into it? Where were you traveling on your way to? Uh, how did you see <laughs> and then the Holy Spirit <laughs> fell. Yes, it didn't be fell. <laughs> the Holy Spirit fell and your Me eyes more. were blinded and then three days later you opened your eyes or you've just always been a Jesus baby from the moment you were born. And... No, I don't think anybody can be a Jesus baby from the moment you were born. You have to at least have that encounter and make that decision. But I think it will, it will still um, lead us back to covenant. I met my husband when I was in 100 level. He was in 200. He was taking a prayer in chapel. I was like, who is this short, skilled pastor that can pray yeah. very well? Uh, so that was, what year was that? It's, it's a long time ago, 2000, well, not 2007 or 8. Um, and then he started what, what is now Celebration Church. Um, um, 34 campuses now today to the glory of God and we're still ah, um, getting to a billion souls. My husband. Yeah. On this show, no, but he's been on, uh, I think, the Saturday morning show. Okay. Um, and then he wanted to start a youth ministry called the Triumph Triumphant Youth Fellowship. And he asked me to join in. So I was part of that youth ministry. But we weren't even in a relationship then. As part of that youth ministry, we're working together. We also had a devotional Triumph 30 that's still um, in existence today. Um, and then uh, when we were about to graduate, God told us that it was going to be a church. Okay. So shortly after graduation, so we graduated 2011, church started 2012. Uh, Did you start dating? We started dating 2011, just before we graduated. to keep tabs on yeah, <laughs> yes. And then we got, we got married 2014. Nice. So, so, yeah. so um, you're, the, the thing about being you're, you're, you still have um, young kids and you are doing so many things. I mean, many, many people watching tend to always find it a struggle to be able to they feel really like they have to, yes, you have to, and you, you, you touched on it briefly, and I want you to sort of expand on the thoughts mm -hmm. 
of you raising your, not doing <coughs> much mm. and, and still feeling complete while raising your baby I, and I, while being pregnant? I think that when we talk about women being free to do what they want to do, there's also the aspect of letting women who want to just raise children to just, if that's what they want to yeah. do. And I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm better or more. Um, so I think if there's a woman out there who's, who feels like her call and her primary assignment is to raise, raise children. children, and I think that that's a good Valid. thing to start. But the truth is that just because one is wearing makeup and looking, doesn't mean we are not all struggling. We are all trying, <laughs> we are all, we're all trying to kind of figure it out. Um, and many things I do is because I have a great support system. My parents are in my house every weekend because I pastor a campus as well. So they're in my house every weekend to help with the children. Children go to church with them, our church as well. Um, so I have a great support system. I have really good good staff that are very helpful. I have really good family. So I think it's just really figuring out. You're on top of the world, I can mm -hmm. see. Yes, yes. But, so, but sometimes I'm not always yeah, like together. this. I'm not always this put together. Mm. Please tell us the <laughs> times when you are not put together. It doesn't look oh, like you. Yes, it doesn't look like you have a problem with this world. <laughs> like, everything is just perfect. Please, and how you overcame it so that I can encourage somebody. Okay, who's well, if, you, if, if I'm going through a lot, mm -hmm. I cry, I pray, I eat, I sleep. When you wake up, the world is better. <laughs> you get back together. Or, or, or at least you have like clearer eyes to yeah. know, okay, this is what I to do better mm. but everybody does have challenging times i just don't feel like everybody should have to post it out there and so because we're not like i, I can look at my page and say ah this season of my life i was going through xyz but i know but what i posted that day was totally different it doesn't mean that i'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for my life and i am happy but everybody does have challenges and i think the important thing is not to compare ourselves to other people to look at people be inspired and learn but to just know that people are going through stuff and Show yourself grace as a woman. I think showing yourself grace, but really challenging yourself as well. That combination, that's how they put it, the collabo. <laughs> yes. That's like you're no more. Yeah. <laughs> Stay too long with your parents. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. So um, I had to ask you about this. Your this your hair is natural. Oh. Wait, wait, this is your. This is what God gave you, right? Or yes. You, this is ah, what Jesus so gave. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> Whenever I see people with hair, I just like, my dear Where was I when you were sharing? Yeah, thank you. You look so beautiful. Thank yeah. you. So do you have a daughter who has your hair? So the thing is that the girls have their dads. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? But I think maybe my son might have it, but You're he's not right. using it for anything. <laughs> just, well, but it's all good. He's a fine man and they mostly look like him, so I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate Thanks you. Thanks for having here. me. I had a really good time. Yes. Yeah. That is all we can take on today's show. Hope you learned a few things as we have. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.